Hello and welcome. Today we're placing ourselves in the harsh and brutal environment of the outdoors. We ventured far and wide in search of substantial testing grounds for this astounding advancement in survival technology. Stupid sunglasses! Okay guys, we're out in the middle of the woods and today we're testing out a new survival tool that came out like a lot of years ago. So here it is. Uh, it's called the 11 function pocket tool. It's got 11 functions in just this much space. Can you believe, Can you believe it? it? So we're going to be testing it out today and just see how useful it is in this kind of an environment. So we put ourselves in the thicket in the brush with no food or water just after it rained. So the ground is a mess and we're going to we're going to see how durable this is and how it can really help us in these kind of environments. So are you ready to test it out? You bet. All right, let's give this a go. All right, so the first thing we need to do is figure out how to open this. Now, it doesn't give us any instructions on how to open it. Pull one. Oh, here we go. That was easy. It's made of metal, in case you thought it was made of plastic. Oh, it's literally like two and a half inches. So we're going to give this a go and see how it performs. Now, on the back of our packaging here, you'll see there's a list of the things that it's capable of doing. So we're going to start from the highest down to number one okay so 11 is a lanyard hole key ring hole that's this hole right there so you can put like a string in it or you can put you know your keychain in it so that's pretty cool all right uh, next is the 10 two position wrench this is the two position wrench a little bit confused like when would you need a two position wrench that seems pretty pretty stupid we stupid, man! I mean, I, I can't understand where they're coming from. If I take this twig, and I want to be able to twist it, I can put this two-position wrench on it, and turn. You see how it's turning there, sort of? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, just, just imagine it's turning. That's, that's what you really are going for. Now, you see, it's a two-position wrench, not a one. So you can do multiple sizes. Now that's cool. All right, so this next thing on here is direction recognition. Okay, next is, let's see, let's look at our little cheat sheet. All right, number eight is the saw blade. It's about one and a quarter inches long. So let's try it out. Let's say it's raining and you really need to get some shelter, okay? You need to get, you know, something to keep the rain off you and something to sleep under at night. So. Fortunately, we have our one and a quarter inch long saw blade here to cut down this one and a half inch tree, okay? Because, you know, your shelters need to be made out of strong you know, supports. So let's, uh, let's give this a go. You ready? All right, so we got about that far through it. I, I just wouldn't think it's worth it. And they also conveniently made it so that the knife edge is right where you have to grab. We were in the woods. We heard a sound coming from a tree. It scrambled. Ah! All right, Two. next on our list, ladies and gentlemen, is the number seven, the butterfly wrench. What is a butterfly wrench? Like, are you gonna take a butterfly and like wrench his neck off or something? Number six is the four position wrench. Oh, I see. So this is the four position wrench. So right, this one was a two position wrench. This is a four position wrench. That way, when you have like sticks like this, you can oh, whoa. you can really get in there. And have the ability to turn them, not. Oh, like maybe starting a fire with your, like your hands. Yeah, yeah, turn yeah. That really way you turn hard. it like this and it starts the fire. Okay. <laughs> That's sad. All right, next is the bottle opener number five. I was really thirsty earlier, and I was just walking around. And I saw this bottle of water, so this handy dandy little thing came in handy. <laughs> Something on here actually works. Next on the list is number four, the ruler. That's a two inch ruler, it looks. So what this is helped with is measuring your sticks. So if you wanted a shelter that was really, um, you know, well planned out, you, you, you'd, you'd know the exact dimensions of your shelter. That way, you know, you don't make any mistakes. All right, next on the list is the screwdriver, number three, number three. Oh, right here? That would be that right there on the tip. See, number three, that's the screwdriver. Unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of 
having things to unscrew or screw in out here. I mean, we're in the woods. 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 Alright, next on the list, we have a number two. This is the second best thing on here, probably. And that is a knife edge. This looks to be our knife edge, right here. It's our knife edge. Yeah, that looks to be it right there. We're gonna test this knife edge on my face. <laughs> no, um, we're gonna test this knife edge on this little thing. Oh, now that's good. Like, no one's gonna need that, but yeah. All right, all right, we're gonna see how sharp this knife really is. If y'all ready for this? Not sure if many of you guys can handle this. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna give, you know, we got this piece of paper that we're gonna try and cut using our knife edge. Our knife edge, it's, 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 it's decent. It, it is a pointed piece of metal, I agree, but it's not what I call a knife. Kit's been working away at this uh, branch here, seeing how well this knife edge works and it looks like it's working pretty well he spent about three minutes on it and you can see the amazing progress he's made in that much time there's so much bark taken off this branch and it's really gonna make this shelter look beautiful the last and final thing on our list is the can opener which is uh yeah that little notchy thingy right there so where can we find a can? We're gonna need to find a can. Let's start Where looking. are we gonna find a can? We're trying to find a can so that we can show you guys this really cool feature on our 11 function tool. <gasps> a can that. Whoa. We just found a can. It's literally just sitting on top of this rotten pine stump that went to this tree. And look, it's solid white. Albacore tuna. <gasps> I love that stuff. Give me a. <laughs> If only we had some way to open this tuna can. Well, I'm here to change that using this. So give me that tuna can. Let's see how it works. You need to work backwards. Oh, backwards? That's easy. Yeah, not in the right direction. <laughs> and we have conquered our, um, can. All right. Now the fortunate thing about this is you can use this almost like a fork or spoon. Mm -mm. Hey, hey, let me try some. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all want some? Here you go. <laughs> it turns out this isn't the tuna we like, <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna give it to one of the animals that's probably Who lurking knows? about. Cause you. All right. So, Kent, what's your favorite thing on this tool? Um, I think the can opener. The can opener was obviously the easiest. It works really well. My favorite's probably the. The debarker, the knife edge. The saw is junk. What do you rate this tool kit? Eh, I really think it's like a, let's go with three stars. Three out of five? Yeah. I rate this tool zero out of five. I would much rather not have this than have it. What do I think of this? I think this of it. Ugh. As we traveled back, we reflected upon our journey. We unearthed the deep secrets of this mysterious and perplexing tool. We are now prepared to take on the challenges of